Five suspects are expected to appear in the Kapogweni Magistrates Court today. They were arrested in connection with the murder and mutilating of a six-year-old girl, Montle Mashiani. The suspects are facing charges of kidnapping, murder and rape. Dumelo Machocho is standing by for us with the latest. A very good morning to you, Dumelo. Why has the case been moved to Musoi, to, uh, from Musoi to Kapogweni? Well, this, this case has been moved from Masoi to Gabogweni Magistrate Court because of the safety and also the fact that the court in Masoi is a very small case, court and also the community there, they've been wanting to attend the case and all of them, they've been wanting to attend the case. So they've moved the case here so that the police can be on standby to watch the community because the community has been protesting, calling for, for justice, especially when it comes to this case of Bontle Mashia. And just before I, I talk to you about the ages and the people that are expected to appear in court already here outside court I can tell you that you know as we're going to show you uh, um, the, the the Nyana and the police vans that have already arrived here at the uh, at the uh, at the court outside court Desre the police are also in their numbers to ensure that the people that are coming from Masoi to come and support the the Mashiani family they are also out here to to to, to ensure that they also uh, uh, protect the court and also protect the people that are coming here but I can tell you that the the four the five suspects that Appear, are expected to appear in court. You remember that three suspects, including an ex convict, uh, Colin Songwani, who's 36 years old, and then Ntomika uh, Ise, Nyane, and also Tsepo Ngomani, they appeared first. Those are the three suspects. Two of them, they are neighbors to Bonke Mashiani, and then the other one is an ex convict. Those appeared first. They decided to abandon their bail um, uh, when they appeared in court. But then the second suspect, in, uh, Sangoma, and his son appeared uh, uh, a second, and they are all expected now to appear. All of them, the five of them, they are expected to appear here in court. Uh, of the two of the Sangoma, Samuel Tsela, uh, uh, he decided that he was going to, to, to conduct his own uh, 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 legal action. He's not going to get a lawyer. And his son said that he will uh, ask for a lawyer. So all of them, they're expected to appear in court here. And uh, um, uh, they're facing um, a, a case, uh, rather, charges of rape, murder, kidnapping, and also dealing in, uh, uh, in, body, in human uh, body parts. So they're expected to appear in court here. We understand that uh, the magistrate will be moving to this court and also the families are expected to come here and support this family. You remember that Bontle was went missing for 21 days before she was found with her body mutilated and uh, 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 Bontle has since been laid to rest and but some of the body parts have not been found as yet. The police are telling us that some of the body parts have not been found yet but these suspects um, the Sangoma said that he doesn't know anything, he's not involved in this matter uh, and he said that he will conduct his own legal um, representation presentation. Uh, he doesn't need a lawyer at this stage, but the son says that he will need a lawyer for this matter. We understand there was a protest early this morning in Masoi of community members after they heard that the court has been moved here. So um, uh, we are understand that they will be uh, arriving this side and uh, the ace community members that have already organized them a bus to, to bus them from Masoi to Cabo Queni to, to come here and support uh, the, the families. But the families say that they want justice the mother of the of Bontles, she's been saying that she wants justice for 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 the for the people that have murdered her child, saying that she she would only uh, rest if she and she would only be relaxed if she sees that justice has been prevailed in this matter. So we understand that uh, 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 the families will also be coming down here to support the the to also to listen to the case and also a lot of community members in that area they will be coming out here. You understand that the police have told us that um, the mastermind Don Bigai said. Uh, 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 she said that she uh, uh, confessed inside. The, she confessed uh, uh, to the murder of Bonte and also confessing to five other children that has co killed in that same area of Masoi. You would understand that even on the same street as Bonte, there were two kids that were murdered and also mutilated two years ago. So she has also confessed to those two kids. So we under maybe the police would hear from the police if the police would add those cases that they say that uh, she has confessed to. Uh, so that she can face um, not only the murder of Bontle but the murder of other people that she has confessed to uh, that 
the people have not been arrested because those murders that have been ha taking place in that area, no one was arrested for those murders. And then we understand that uh, after she confessed, maybe now the police would also add that towards um, to 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 today's case also to ensure that she also faced the might of the law on these other cases that she has also allegedly confessed to. Melo, we'll wait to see uh, how everything unfolds. Thank you so much for setting the scene for us, Melo Machojo, there for us.